Hello and welcome to this week's weekly psychic forecast video for week commencing the 28th of November 2022. We have the overview of the week laid out in front of us here, then we will go day by day, looking at each day of the week individually, finishing with a spiritual guidance message at the end, so do stay tuned for that. So let's dive on in and have a look at this week's overview. Let's have a look at the energy for the week as a whole. So our cards here, we have the Knight of Fire, we have number two, Refusing to See, and we have number 44, Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. So this is a very, very interesting week. Um, and I just want to make a connection here with my 222222 video, because I was actually drawn back to watch that today. And I was drawn to mention it a couple of days ago in a, a client session, because that energy is coming back up again. So if you haven't watched it already, or if you have and you've forgotten what it was about, I'm going to link above so that you can watch that. Um, just go back and refer to that message from the 22nd of February 2022 because there's a lot that's coming full circle at this point in time and this feels very very relevant particularly this week. So let's take a look at this week's message. So we've got the Knight of Fire so there's a lot of speed coming in here that there's a, a desire to move forwards very much um, a need to make decisions but also not wanting to make the decisions or not wanting to see what's actually happening, maybe wanting to stay in a place of um, feeling safe, a place of safety or what we perceive to be safety, which is actually ignorance. And that's very much the message for this week. Um, and it comes in with the advice from the panther spirit, which is to reclaim your power. You are not helpless. You are not a child. It's your responsibility to make the best of your life. And it comes in a very, very real, very realistic number 44. So the time is now. We can't wait any longer for this. We have to reclaim our power this week. There's going to be a lot of obstacles, um, but also a lot of potential this week, I think. There's a huge power coming in this week, a, a, a lot of momentum sort of all coming to a head right now, which I think is going to play out on an individual basis, but we'll also see it playing out on um, a community, national, international level as well, where there are those who will take the power from us. And it feels like there's a limited time window on this one as well. Those who would take more and more power, more and more agency from each individual, um, and a lot of people who just don't want to see it, don't want to know, don't want to hear about it, would much rather stay in the dark about things. Um, it could also be on a much more personal level. You know, we might be in a relationship where someone is really running roughshod all over us and we just don't want to see it. We don't want to take back our power. And the challenge is being laid out to you. The gauntlet is being laid out for you to pick up. It is time to reclaim your power, to do your shadow healing, to heal those injured, damaged aspects of self that keep you weak, keep you in denial, keep you in bad relationships, keep you in unfulfilling jobs, push you to make decisions that you think are the right ones because you think that's what's expected expected of you rather than what actually lights you on fire, what your passion is. Um, there's certainly a desire to be led by passion, to be led by the I am presence, I'm guided to say this week. It's very much about the I am. It's remembering who we truly are. This is our task this week. We are to remember who we truly are. We are to remember we are one with God, one with each other. So it's going to be a very, very powerful week on a spiritual level. And it's going to play out in some very, very interesting ways in our everyday lives too. So let's move on to the days of the week and let's just have a look at the energy of Monday. So Monday's cards, we have the Ace of Fire. We have number eight, Dedicated Effort. And we have number 13, the Cat Spirit. Claim your independence. Well, there it is. In comes the cat <laughs> to remind us. Yeah, boundaries. Make the changes if you need to make them. Comes in on a very transformative 13, which can bring new beginnings. Um new beginnings, but also new foundations to build upon. Um, and our new foundation must be one uh, that we build for ourselves. Our new foundation, our new foundation spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically must come from ourselves, must come from the right place, from love, not from bowing down to a higher power. So it, it's, a ve again, a very, very kind of high level theme that will be showing up in all different aspects of our life right now. So it is going to bring change. Again, here's this fire element coming in here on the ace of fire, coming in with new beginnings, new potential, new financial potential, brings new career, new business, changes, um, positive, fast changes when it comes to, to money. 
when it comes to um, finances, when it comes to jobs, career, business, um, and also fantastic life changes that can take us on adventures. Um, but it does remind us that our dreams will only work if we do. And I think that's a very important reminder on Monday. Our dreams will only work if we do. And yes, we might be feeling like we want to jack it all in, you know, if we if we have a job in the corporate world um, or something that's unfulfilling, an unfulfilling career or even an unfulfilling business. We might think, you know what, I want to do things differently. I want to step outside of the system. I want to be paid in cryptocurrency. I want to live off grid. You know, I want to do things in my own way, whatever it is that you want to do. But there is this reminder, yes, you can absolutely do that. In fact, it's encouraged that you do that, but be aware that you will have to work for it. This is not going to be given to you on a plate, okay? Um, and this is the problem, I think, facing humanity at the moment. There is the great temptation of being given everything on a plate, being looked after, you know, we're being dangled the carrot of uh, universal basic income, for example, which sounds great, doesn't it? Oh, I won't have to work and I'll, I'll have all of this money and I can do whatever I want. That does not present the amount of freedom that those empowered wish us to believe that it does. It actually comes as a gilded prison, a gilded cage. And I would very, very much warrant um, say that ca caution is is warranted when it comes to government offering to take care of you in sort of almost a parental role. Um, we are not here to be children. We are here to be spiritual adults and to reclaim our independence, you know, to reclaim ourselves. Um, and humanity has lived in kind of a very childlike way for a very, very long time now. And it feels like we're kind of entering more of a teenage phase right now where people will be pushing back, will be testing boundaries, but in a good way, in order to reclaim that independence, in order to do things in their own way, go in their own direction. And we're going to see a lot of innovation, I feel, on Monday could be coming in. People rocking the boat, people coming in with new ideas and that those new ideas can work. But the follow through is absolutely crucial, comes in on um, dedicated effort on that number eight. Um, and eight is about longevity and hard work and keeping going. But eight can also bring great prosperity if we are willing to keep going and do the work that's necessary. So I want to say plans that you come up with or new projects that you begin on Monday, they definitely have the potential to be successful as long as you allow yourself to lead yourself and don't be led by others. Don't be a follower on Monday. Be a leader, you know, uh, be the leader of your own life. Uh, be the guardian of your own life are the words that I get as well. You, you must be the guardian of your own life. You're not a child. You don't need a guardian. <laughs> you know, you, you may still need your parents, you know, because we're human beings and we have those emotional bonds, but you don't need a guardian. You're not a child. OK, you are an adult. Step up and be one and be prepared to put in the work now, because there is a fantastic opportunity to go very far, very fast in Monday's energy. If you're willing to put your nose to the grindstone and get it all done, because that eight can bring us such great prosperity. It can be very, very exciting. Um, so listen to, you know, that voice at the back of your head saying, actually, how about we try this? How about we start a YouTube channel today? You know, whatever it doesn't have to be YouTube, uh, whatever it is. Listen to that voice because there's real divine inspiration coming in that may be really quite original, quite different. Um, so listen to that because change is coming um, and staying in the same place, ignoring that impulse may be something that you live to regret. So I would say listen to it and, and think about how you can do it and then be prepared to put the work in if you're going to move forwards with those plans. So let's move on to Tuesday. You'll notice this one's going quite quickly today. Feels like I'm talking ever so fast. Um, the energy is very, very quick this week. It's um, very expeditious. Is that a word? Probably. Right. So Tuesday, yes, carrying on from Monday's energy. Yes, there, there's definitely this desire to move on again. We've got the eight of water, desire to move on. Number six, the third eye chakra. And number three, armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries. Again, boundaries coming up. That's very interesting because these are both cards to do with boundaries, the cat spirit and the armadillo spirit. As we know, cats are very, very independent, very good at letting you know what they do and don't want. And they have excellent boundaries. They actually have 20 very sharp, excellent boundaries on the end of their paws. Um, and the armadillo spirit is an armoured animal. It is literally armoured and it can protect itself. It can set its boundaries with its own physical body. Um, very interesting energy for Tuesday and it comes in with a very intuitive feel as well with the eight of water and, and the third eye chakra coming in here. It feels very much as though we are being guided by intuition, guided by spirit on Tuesday. Um, 
And there is an opportunity for spiritual growth as well, for, for personal growth. It's a good day to do shadow work, um, to do counselling or healing, I think, on Tuesday. I think we'll get a lot out of it and be able to take steps forwards in the direction that we actually want to go in from Tuesday. Um, and again, it is all about stepping up and being the person that we want to be and not being afraid of what other people say when we do that or what other people will think of us when we do that. And being very much so um, spiritually guided that we just don't care what people say anymore we it just doesn't bother us water off a duck's back being so spiritually strong and so spiritually armored in the best possible way i want to say um it's a very very interesting energy we definitely can move forwards again on tuesday there's still this continuing energy of being able to move forwards of being able to forge our own path of being very much in charge of our own destiny um i do want to talk about being in charge of your own healing as well on your healing path um whatever you're drawn to do there. I do want to talk about healing and the physical body as well as the, the mental emotional because I feel um, obviously some people will have um, have health challenges. I mean, that, that's just a thing, isn't it? But I feel there will be some opportunities to actually be a trailblazer on your own path when it comes to, to your physical healing today. So whatever you feel drawn to look into there, maybe, you know, maybe you want to make a specific decision about your health on Tuesday. So, um yeah, see where you're drawn with that. Obviously, you you know, you have to be sensible. I can't give medical advice. Lord knows I'm not allowed to, <laughs> nor would I, because that's not my place. But I feel there could be something to do with um, with health that actually comes up that requires you to hold your boundaries, to hold your ground on something that you feel quite strongly about that you want to do. So, um, yeah, very interesting day. There's a lot of opportunity again on Tuesday. I want to say there's financial opportunity. There's also emotional opportunity. So there is opportunity within relationships and I think within families as well. There could be um, improvements, I think, in family relationships that we're going to be seeing. Again, it's going to be spiritually led, spiritually guided on Tuesday because we have this third eye chakra that's coming in very strongly. And interestingly, I was actually drawn to put out my um, lapis lazuli bracelet which is just at the top here and these are the crystals that I've put out which I was guided to put out today um there is a lot going on with our throat chakra this week that's for sure which is why we've got the turquoise up here and also the heart which is why we've got the piece of malachite at the top but I also wanted to bring in some other more grounding crystals as well um and a slightly more spiritual one on the end I forget what that one's called maybe someone can tell me um ooh, stop moving <laughs> um yeah so very very interesting day on Tuesday um, it does feel like we need to be careful that we're putting our plans in place you know if we have a plan don't be drawn off plan that's what I want to say with the armadillo spirit as well don't be don't allow other people to pull you away from your plan pull you away from your path on Tuesday because they will try all right. They will try. Absolutely. And I feel that those of us who are very empathic, you know, have very deep emotions and care very deeply about other people. There's a risk we could be pulled off our path, pulled away from our plan on Tuesday. So I just want to say, be very careful of that. Remember why you're doing the things that you're doing. Remember what your heart's desire is. Um, remember what your goals are, because you are very, very important. You are the most important person in your life. OK, you are the most important person in your life. End of. All right. I don't care who else you think is important. Of course, other people are important. Of course, children are important if you have children. But ultimately, if you don't look after yourself, you can't look after them either. All right. Bottom line, be very careful that you're not being pulled off path, not being swayed. Um, somebody's not using emotional blackmail against you or trying to guilt you into going in a wrong direction that really isn't meaningful, that may be locking you back into that box. Maybe an ex-partner's trying to pull you back in again. Maybe an ex-boss or a current boss is trying to prevent you from moving on because there is some resistance there to, to where we want to go. Although the energy is very much pushing us in the right direction, there's still going to be those elements of resistance coming in. So boundaries are so, so important. On Tuesday. So let's move on to Wednesday's cards now. Wednesday we have the Two of Earth. We have number nine, Darkest Fears. And we have the Frog Spirit, number 28, Clear Out the Clutter. Hmm, yeah, so Wednesday is going to pose a bit of a problem for some people, certainly. Um, what I was saying about Tuesday, again, the theme may be continuing a little bit here with um, starting to doubt yourself, questioning yourself on Wednesday. It could be a difficult day in the workplace. It could be difficult in relationships or if you've just left a relationship, um, for example, um, particularly rather about leaving relationships rather than 
new ones. I mean, it could be to do with a new relationship for some people, but lots of things being thrown into question for you on Wednesday. It is going to be a very, very difficult day mentally. Uh, the darkest fears card here is things going around in your head. Um, old fears, old insecurities coming up, um, really torturing us a little bit on Wednesday old unhelpful thought patterns coming up. So we need to follow the advice of the frog spirit here on 2810, which is clear out the clutter, clear out those old thought patterns that don't help you, clear out those old thought patterns that don't work for you, the ones that tell you that you're useless, that you're worthless, that you're no good, that you'll never amount to, to anything, that you never put yourself out for anyone when you know that's absolutely not the case, when you literally bend over backwards for everybody. Get rid of the gaslighting, the people who gaslight you, get rid of the abusers from your life, get rid of the thought patterns and thought in your mind left by the abusers, the people who would harm you, who would take advantage of you. Get rid of those thought patterns, the negative thought patterns, the negative Nellies from your mind. Um, it may literally be about purging your friendship group, getting rid of people who are very negative, who are harmful, who drag you down, because it's very, very unhelpful. We've got a lot on on Wednesday. It does feel like there's a lot of work on for a lot of people. It feels like a very busy day. So the last thing you need is to be pulled down into the doldrums with this very heavy, very difficult energy. And I feel a lot of guilt coming in as well. There may be somebody in your life who is a real travel agent for guilt trips, you know, and you just don't need that. So either you need to find a way to deal with them and set those boundaries, like the cat and the armadillo told us on Monday and Tuesday, um, or literally remove them from your life so they cannot influence you anymore. And sometimes that is necessary, although it can be difficult. And remember that people around you you know, you may not notice their behaviour because it may be something cumulative. Because like they say, you can boil a frog. And as long as you do it slowly enough, the frog won't notice the changes in water temperature until it is literally too late. Do not be that frog boiling in the water because you didn't realise you'd let yourself get there. And if you realise you are that boiling frog, for God's sake, get out. <laughs> if you're in a situation that is unsafe for you, that is dangerous, that is abusive, harmful, get out, please. Look after yourself, save yourself, get out now. You have choices with the two of earth. It comes in with opportunity and choices. Yes, the choices may be difficult ones. You may feel as though you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, that there are, there's nothing you can do that's going to be right or that's going to make you truly happy. And sometimes the best decision we can make is the least worst one, okay? It may not feel perfect at the time. And yes, very often we have to make a decision that's uncomfortable or difficult, but it is necessary nonetheless. It is necessary for our well-being on the longer term, even though on the short term it may be p painful, may be difficult. Um, it may be possible to look at things in a more light-hearted uh, manner for, for some people. Yeah, that's absolutely possible. You know, if you can see the humour in things, all the better. Um, but it is going to be a very, very challenging day so far as our thoughts and emotions go. So make sure you're not picking up too much on other people's energy. If you're an empath, you know, remember to shield your energy, ground your energy, cleanse your energy. I say this all the time to my students. Shield, ground, cleanse, shield, ground, cleanse. <laughs> You can't do it too much. It's impossible. Um, make sure you're doing that so you're not feeling everybody else's feelings and, and being left um, awash on a sea of emotion that you don't control and that has absolutely nothing to do with you. The things that do have to do with you, get very clear about what they are and whether they belong in your life, whether you want them to stay in your life. So it may be literally about clearing out physical clutter in your home. There may be some things that you want to get rid of, maybe some gifts from an ex or a, a former friend that you just don't want in your house in them anymore, don't want in your energy anymore. Things that you really need to let go of that remind you of a past toxic relationship. Give them away, sell them, do it fast. What I normally do in that case is I actually give them away normally um, because if you sell them, sometimes you can end up not getting rid of them because you want a certain price. I find it much easier to just literally give it away, give it to a charity shop to recycle it, then it's gone. It's done with, it's out of your energy. Um, and energetically, that will come back to you in a positive way anyway, because the universe keeps a perfect set of books. So don't worry about ever being in luck. So not the best day Wednesday, certainly a bit of a hump day. <laughs> I'm going to say it is going to be a bit of a hump day, definitely challenging. Um, don't let fear get you down. I want to say I feel there could be some very fearful themes in the in the media. I mean, when are they not in the mainstream media in particular? But it could be a, a day that, that really gets to you a little bit. So I do want to say things aren't as bad as they appear. Just be aware that all things may get on top of you. That it may be an accumulation of things really getting on top of you. It's not as bad as it seems. You can make positive, empowering decisions on Wednesday. So let's move on to Thursday. So Thursday's cards, we have the Eight of Earth. We have another Eight, Helpless and Hopeless. And we have, oh, 
32, the hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. So on 32, 5. Interesting, there's been quite a few eights this week. Um, I think, it's, is that four eights so far? I think so, possibly. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. Um, but certainly eight coming in is quite a, a strong numerological theme here. Um, and eight is about endurance. So it does feel like this week is going to be a little bit of a marathon. <laughs> we might have our work cut out for us in more ways than one. So let's take a look. Eight of Earth. So this is about working. For some people, it's literally about studying. It, you may be um, studying for course at the moment, hoping to change career. Um, but there is a feeling of really not being able to do right for doing wrong at the moment. So you may be struggling on Thursday. That's a very sad energy to come in with this card. Um, always makes me very sad when I see this card because I know that um, the mind is a liar and it will make us believe that we're not capable of things or that we don't have any options. Perhaps we feel trapped or we feel as though we cannot implement the things that we want in our lives. Maybe we feel that, you know, governments and authorities are just too powerful you know they've got too much of a rein on things and there's nothing we can do to break out of our cage um but the hawk spirit comes in to contradict that and to remind us here that we are powerful and we have an even more powerful spirit in god goddess in the spirit world in you know the spirit realm our loved ones who have passed over ascended masters angels dragons um whatever entities that we work with and we actually have some fairy cards today for the spiritual guidance message. So, you know, it'd be, it may be that you work with the fairy realm, the elementals, um, these different ether etheric beings. So there is a huge amount of support here and we don't have to learn everything from academia. In fact, academia hardly has any information at all. There is very little information on Earth that we have access to right now. And that's the truth. And I just want to say... We shouldn't be disheartened by the fact that we don't have all the information right now. And I mean, goodness, it, it's almost like although we live in the information age, in many ways we're we're in a penury of, of true information, of true wisdom and knowledge. Um, so much has been destroyed, hidden from us, lost, um, taken away, banned, um, that we may literally feel as though there, there is nothing here. We live in this barren um, <laughs> landscape of the mind where, where there's nothing that, that we can even do, um, you know, to the point where... A certain philosophy is such a cynicism and realism have taken such a hold on society. Um, and I believe that was intentional. I, I think the, these things were brought in intentionally to make us believe that there is nothing after death, you know, that, that spirituality is virtually worthless un unless you're following a very strict dogmatic religious system, which, you know, a lot, a lot of people just don't like it doesn't work for them um and and why would it if it's so strict and dogmatic it certainly never worked for me um we may be feeling very, very lost, very, very alone, I think, on on Thursday. And that's sad because I don't think it's necessary for us to stay in that place. Um, if anything, I think in our darkest moments, we can have some of our greatest inspiration. And I think many of us, if we spend some time meditating, contemplating or reading some of the ancient books of wisdom that are still with us, um, we do still have some of them and they provide the keys to the next steps in our path um, to, towards finding higher spiritual knowledge, higher levels of, of spiritual awakening. I feel there may be some actual awakenings for some people as well. And very often this does happen when we're at a very, very low ebb, at a very low place in our lives. That is when we have the Kundalini rising, the spiritual awakening. It feels very, very strange when it happens, but it is wonderful. Um, there may also be a pull for some people to, um, to go to a country or to a place where they can try psychedelics perhaps to you know ayahuasca or, or something like that um if you feel drawn to that you know look into it see if that that's what you want to do um but certainly there's a lot of inspiration coming through from spirit saying look don't worry we know what you were taught at school we know what you were told okay and a lot of that's just absolute rubbish <laughs> don't worry um there is so much more in this world, in this universe, than teachers were ever allowed to tell you about, you know, or even religious teachers were ever allowed to tell you about. There is so much more. And I think there is so much love and support coming through and wisdom coming through from the higher realms right now. Look for the symbols, the signs and the symbols in the universe around you on Thursday, because I think there will be a lot of evidence of the greater truths of the universe coming through to you today. It's going to be a very, very interesting day if we actually choose to tap into that spiritual energy, to lean into that spiritual spiritual self to um 
lean on our higher spiritual self and ask that higher mind um, to actually support us, that higher aspect of self to, to support and guide us through what could be a very challenging day. Uh, we may be feeling really very low um, and very, very helpless, like we can't help people, we can't save people, they just want to to harm themselves, they, they want to um, poison themselves and get stuck in horrible systems of governance, you know, where they're treated like cattle. Um, I mean, we are already, but believe me, it can get a lot worse. Um, and some people just won't see it and they carry on going on, you know, go, going along with it. And that can be very frustrating. Um, and if you're one of those people, I just want to bring in the reassurance. It's OK. Spirit will be your guide. OK, not everybody goes at the same pace on their spiritual journey and that's OK. And it's very, very important to get a bit of a bigger picture sometimes and just remember that. OK, we don't all go together. We don't all go at the same pace. We will all go together eventually. All right. But the peloton takes a long time to catch up with the, the ones that break away at the front. OK, and a lot of us right now, we're kind of the, the breakaway group at the front leading the pack. So um, let's move on to... Friday, that's our next day, isn't it? Friday's cards, we have the Knight of Earth. We have number three, Share the Love. And we have number 36, Koi Fish Spirit. There is always enough. Ooh, I like today. I like Friday very much. This is quite an exciting energy for Friday. Very good day for manifesting. Ooh, this is a very exciting day. I'm loving this energy. Um, very creative energy as well, coming in coming in from the heart, creating from the heart, I want to say, on Friday. Um, being able to achieve a lot, being able to move forwards and achieve a lot. Um, there's a very loving energy that comes through on Friday. It's beautiful partnership between spirit and between mankind, I want to say, really showing itself on Friday. Uh, maybe showing itself on an individual level, maybe showing itself on a more collective level, where there may be people stepping in um, to actually help humanity in ways that are perhaps unexpected, that we weren't expecting. You know, good news, positive news, things coming in. Um, obviously, not everything can be positive on a day, and we don't expect it to be, but there are going to be little nuggets, little things that we can hold on to. And some of the most positive and powerful positive acts can actually be very, very small ones, OK? Because remember that the positive energy, the light is always far more powerful than the darkness, OK? So it can be those little acts of kindness, those little acts of compassion, empathy towards other people that make all the difference. They are the ones that truly change the world rather than the the, the the really big gestures, OK, because big gestures are great if you have lots of money, but that's meaningless. That's pocket change if, if you're a billionaire or something. So with the koi fish spirit, now this is very exciting to see on 36 nines, so very magical manifesting numbers coming in here with 36 nine. Um, so I said it's a great day for manifesting, particularly if you're looking to manifest money um, or a relationship, I want to say, or anything that really comes from the heart. So I mean, that could literally be anything. <laughs> anything that's really dear to your heart is a wonderful day to me manifesting on Friday. Really quite an exciting day. A real fry yay of a Friday, <laughs> I want to say. Um, bit of a magical hint in the air as well. So it could be a good day for spell work or for higher magic or just for reading about magic, for meditating, for spending time um, with your guides, you know, working on your spiritual abilities, your psychic abilities. Very, very fun day for that. Bit of a fun energy as well. Although, yes, we will be working. We will be getting things done. It feels quite lighthearted. The energy feels very positive. There's a lovely positive lighthearted potential on Friday. So that's certainly a day that I'm going to be looking forward to. Um, Please do remember, of course, to come back on Friday and leave me a comment. Let know, let me know <laughs> what happens in your weeks just so that we can understand how the energy is affecting everybody. So there could be more of an optimism returning on Friday to the collective. Um, but we will have reasons to be optimistic and we will see how we on an individual basis can actually make our changes in the world, how we can do the small things that really matter to make the bigger changes happen. So let's take a look at Saturday's cards now. Saturday we have the Ten of Earth. Number seven, choose your battles. And number 53, the Seahorse Spirit, watch and wait. So 53, eight, we have another eight coming in there. Okay. Hmm. Interesting old energy on Saturday. I want to say on Saturday, don't go looking for a fight. 
I really want to say that. Don't go looking for a fight. Mind your own business. <laughs> I actually wanted to say mind your own damn business because that's the words that came through to me. Um, yeah, don't go looking for fights. Don't go looking for problems. Don't go looking for arguments, especially on Twitter. You know, <laughs> in social media is terrible. Facebook or wherever it is that, that you like to hang out online if you do that. Um, don't go looking for the problems because you will find them. There's something of a very combative energy. It's a little bit unstable, a little bit unbalanced on Saturday. So we have to be the ones to stay in our balanced energy. If everything is OK in your life, then be happy about that. OK, you don't have to go looking for problems, looking for fights to have with other people. Um, and there is this energy of, of watch and wait as well. So don't jump in just because other people are arguing about something. What I want to say, um, yeah, don't dive into somebody else's argument. Don't get involved in other people's dramas on Saturday. Um, if it's not to do with you, then let it go. OK, if it's not a big deal, let it go. Don't go looking for a fight because I think tempers could really flare. There's a lot of arrogant energy coming through on Saturday. And I think we need to be very careful to stay um in a humble mindset to show compassion, consideration to other people because tempers could really be flaring. I feel like I want to say about driving, be careful on the roads as well because there could be some road rage going down. So really be very careful and considerate if you're driving anywhere on Saturday. Um, it's not the best day, which is a real shame. Really quite a challenging day, which is which is a shame because lots of people want to do things on a Saturday and it feels like lots of people will want to do lots of things, but they will have a very disruptive energy. So it really may not be the best day to go out. You might want to put your shopping trip off to another day. It may not be the moment to be going and doing that. Um, I also want to say bide your time, bide your time because your chance will come, your opportunity will come. OK, it's a very disruptive energy today. And if you, you you may be given an offer, but it's not quite the right person. OK, it could be in romance, could be in work, in money, finance, business. Um, you know, somebody may come with, in with an offer and it's actually what you want, but there's something wrong with it. You know, it might not be the person that you want to work with. It might not be quite the company you want to work with. It's not quite the right opportunity. There's something a little bit wrong with it. So I want to say, don't just take the opportunity because it's presented. Wait for a better one to come along. Use your wisdom. Use the seahorse spirit wisdom here. Wait for the better opportunity to come along because it will come. OK, you will manifest what you actually want. The The ideal opportunity will arrive. You don't have to grab this one just because it's showing up. Um, I feel like there could be an offer from somebody who is really not a good influence in your life, somebody that you really don't want involved in your affairs. So I'm going to say proceed with caution. Um, beware of Greeks bearing gifts. A little bit of Trojan horse energy coming in here as well. People may be making you an offer, but they may have an ulterior motive. So be very, very careful in any business dealings or any new romance, for example. If somebody asks you out on a date and you've got a bit of a weird feeling about them, Maybe put it off for a week or so and see how you feel about it. Sleep on it for a couple of nights and, and I think you'll be a little bit clearer once this kind of strange combative energy actually clears. So let's move on to Sunday now. Sunday's cards. Now we've actually got two of these. We've got the Queen of Air and we've also got the Star for Sunday. There we go. That's always nice to see. We have number nine, Rest and Reconsider. And we have the giraffe spirit. See the big picture. There we go. OK. So after Saturday's quite confusing, combative energy where we may be getting some weird offers from people who aren't quite right. I think on Sunday it's quite a different energy. It feels like a complete 180 energetically. Like we will really see so clearly what's actually going on that we will be able to take some time out and really assess what's going on in our, our our lives, where we want to go, we, what we want to do with it and how we want to sing our song as well, um, who we want to be in the world, how we want to be seen, what philosophy we want to follow in our life, what spiritual beliefs we want to elevate to to bring importance to in our lives as well. I think it's a very nice energy today. Um, and it is realistic, but I mean that in a very, very spiritual sense. We'll be very spiritually realistic today. <laughs> we will realise just what opportunity is here in front of us, just what great optimistic opportunity is here in front of us and, and how much we actually have to be grateful for. Giraffe really helps us to see the bigger picture because the giraffe can see much higher than everyone else. And it's almost like a bird energy 
energy. Um, in certain traditions, we talk about the eagle being able or the condor being able to, to fly higher than the other birds and have a better view of what's going on. And this is also very often how we talk about the spirit realm, um, how spirit have a better view of things. And believe me, spirit don't know everything, but they can see a little bit better because they are... Um, energetically speaking, a little bit higher and they can see a little bit further off into the distance. So we may not be able to see everything or know everything that's coming, but we certainly have a better perspective on our lives, on what's happening, not just for ourselves, but for other people as well. There's a real feeling of having a perspective and being able to sit with it, to meditate on it, to contemplate what's happening in our lives and also to feel very joyful for everything that we've actually achieved. Um, I think there will be more clarity as well as to what we need to let go of, things that, you know, perhaps we didn't let go of when the frog spirit told us to on, I think it was Tuesday, um, or maybe it was Wednesday, um, but things that we didn't let go of in the week or things that we did let go of, I think we will really feel very vindicated for our decisions this week, uh, for the good decisions that we've made. There's a very positive feeling on Sunday. It's a lovely day for contemplation, meditation, prayer. Um, also for gratitude practice, I want to say, for giving thanks. It's a very beautiful day um, for giving thanks. A lovely day to go out into nature if you're able to do that, to spend time in, in greenery with trees, um, communing with that energy, um, reconnecting with the earth and really getting a clear picture on what the bigger picture is for the whole planet, for, for everybody, the, for the collective, energetically, spiritually, not just for the individual. It's a really beautiful day um, to tap into that energy and to, to perhaps get a little bit of a preview as to what's coming for your soul group as well so really nice day very positive also a nice day I mean when the star comes in yes you can make long-term plans you can because you can see the bigger picture because you do have all of the information so it is a good day for making decisions making plans you could even sign contracts if, if it comes up that could be a good day for that um, I think you'll be very clear about what it is that you want so if you've been putting off going on a date with somebody I think you'll know if you actually want to do it or not today <laughs> um after that quite confused energy from Saturday. So really lovely day. Capitalise on this beautiful relaxing energy. Rest if you need to rest, because a lot of us do right now. Sometimes our biggest wisdom, our greatest lesson is to stop, sit, sit down, rest, <laughs> take a break, take a, take a load off. But I do also want to talk about nourishing the higher aspects of self, nourishing the mind, nourishing the spiritual thirst for knowledge as well on Sunday. It's a very beautiful day to be doing your spiritual study as well. So let's take a look at the spiritual guidance message for this week. This week from the Fairy Oracle, we have divination. We have new beginnings. And we have Shine From Within. Oh, look at these beautiful cards. That's a lovely message. Very positive. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's time to get very clear. And I want to say the word soul clear. We'll be getting soul clear this week. Um, I feel our, our higher aspects of self are really coming through so strongly. So we may be sensing things just instantly automatically knowing things without knowing how we know them we may be having very powerful dreams i feel this week as well coming through um but it's really showing us the steps that we need to take to achieve the aims and goals that we actually have for this life and very often the things that we want are not the things that we think we want with our ego mind with the lower mind because the lower mind thinks oh i want that car i want that house i want that stuff i want that job i want that you know wife husband whatever um but actually, there's a much quieter aspect of the self, a much truer, uh, more connected aspect of self that says, you know what, I actually want freedom. I want quiet. Um, I want very different things to the things we were told to want, the things that we were taught to want by our society, by advertising, by school, by teachers, um, that we were told we should want, perhaps. Um, in order to be acceptable in society, which is a, a load of rubbish, because we live in a lunatic asylum, essentially. And very strong messages coming through from much more ancient, much more wise and, and powerful aspects of ourselves, really nudging us to do things differently, um, to take steps in different directions. And it might feel a little bit strange this week, but go with it. <laughs> Absolutely go with it. It's almost kind of Aquarian feel, feel coming through here. A shine from within. Yeah, and really understanding I think there's a, a real message here of really understanding what matters this week and what doesn't. 
really understanding just how limitless the universe is, how limitless the world is. Okay, our planet is incredible. She is incredible. She is self-healing. She is powerful. She's wise, loving. Okay, we are here in this reality to, to learn things, to have experiences, and she is here to cradle us while we do it. All right, because we are so tiny and our lifespans are so short compared to hers. Um, she is incredibly wise. I mean, there, there is a lot of energy, a lot of wisdom coming through from the planet, from Mother Earth, from Gaia this week um, that we can very much tune into if we choose to. You don't have to go outside to do it, but it helps if you do. Certainly being around trees, I'm very drawn to for this week, being in woods, very, very drawn to that. Um, I also want to talk about using fire for divination, actually gazing into flames, and that could be an actual fire or it could be um, simply gazing into a, the flame of a candle. OK, and if you don't have a candle, find a YouTube video of a candle. <laughs> you know, If you're somewhere you can't light a flame because you're not allowed to, find a video of a, of, of a fire, of a flame. See, see what jumps out at you. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be actual fire. Um, yeah. We are really starting to find our true self on a whole new level. And it is baby steps because I see like a little toddler in my mind, really sort of stumbling along, doing her best to, to take steps and her little bare feet on on sort of a, a in a woodland. I see her on, on uh, walking on, crunching around along on leaves. Um, and we are taking these first steps. And spiritually, we very much are children. We very much are toddlers at the moment. But it's very beautiful, the message that I get from the fairy realms, that we are growing. We are learning. We have been learning our lessons. And so we are moving in this new direction now. And it is very, very beautiful. So do tune into your guides this week. Do listen for the inspiration, for the guidance, because there's a lot of it around and we're very much more receptive to it now. I think in many ways we will be able to hear a lot more. Um, I'm very drawn to lapis this week, lapis lazuli, the crystal, which is up here, this blue one, the bracelet that I've popped up here. Um, if you're drawn to that crystal, you know, you can carry a piece or hold a piece occasionally, keep it in your pocket, in your handbag, in your bra. A good place to put crystals. Um, if you wear a bra, obviously, if you don't, then I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, very, very beautiful energy. It's almost like humanity has an opportunity this week to to reach new highs, I want to say, to, to achieve new spiritual goals, to understand new things. There's real spiritual advancement happening. And of course, no, it's not everybody doing it. All right. For humanity to advance, it doesn't have to be everyone doing it at once. It's usually the trailblazers who do it first. So I think it is the, the trailblazers doing it first. Those of us who are actually trying to improve ourselves spiritually, to grow spiritually, to learn more wisdom, to, to be better people. We are the ones doing it. Um, so some very, very beautiful, loving experiences. We are very much supported by the angelic realms, by the etheric realms this week. So remember who you are. And when you get that nudge from spirit, that impulse to actually do something, even if it feels a little bit strange, try it. Go on. <laughs> Go on, try it. Do the thing. Do the thing. Very, very loving energy. It feels like we're sort of cradled in this this wonderful cotton wool this week um, that um, our guides, our higher aspects of self are really kind of looking after us very, very tenderly because we are starting to tentatively take almost our first steps <laughs> on the spiritual level. It's so beautiful, such a beautiful energy. So even if things are turbulent and difficult this week, just remember that everything has a purpose because we are going in the right direction. We will get there, I promise. You know, humanity will ascend, humanity will get there. Some faster than others, that's completely normal. Just like children develop at different rates. They do diff things at different moments, at different times. They do it when it's right for them. Yeah, not all children can be potty trained at, at the same time, for example. You know, they don't all do it at the same age. They do it when it's right for them. And this is kind of like our spiritual potty training, if you like. That's the best way I can describe it. And we will do it in our own time. <laughs> so... <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've reached the end, I would like you to put a comment putting spiritual potty training, just so I know you've listened right to the end of the video. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my second channel, Cosmic Dragon Tarot, which I will link above, and I will see you very soon. Please take very good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.